Welcome to Mom Hive Live, your favorite place to talk about juggling or not juggling parenthood and personhood. I'm so excited for Sherry to be here. Oh, yay! Perfect timing. Welcome, Sherry. For those of you that don't know, Sherry McMullen is an amazing fashion entrepreneur. She's a mom and she is the owner, founder of her namesake store, McMullen. Tell me more about your son. Yeah. So um, my son's name is Frederick. He's five and a half years old. He is truly the love of my life. Um, when I decided that I was going to have a family, I was, you know, 10 years into the business. So I felt like I had sort of planned this out and I had figured it all out. You know, wh what a lie I was telling myself. I had, <laughs> um, but I thought in my mind, this was the perfect time. And there's really not, you know, there's, there's no perfect time. And I discovered that sort of several months into um, Frederick, after he was born that, you know, I wanted something different. Mm. And so I chose to, or my partner and I chose to separate, um, but still parent. For us, I think, you know, Stephen and I have really focused on our son and making sure that his needs are before our own. And then once we got to that place where we could take out sort of the emotional piece, you know, any feeling that we had about what went wrong or what mm -hmm. didn't, all of that. Once we removed all of that and just focused on the needs of our child, like we get along so much better. And my son is the joy of my life and he's in kindergarten now. Um, and he's just, you know, at this age, they just, they're full of discovery. And, yeah. you know, sometimes he talks to me about certain things and I'm like, where did you learn that? <laughs> You know, where did you discover that? What, how, how do you even know that? Um, are you learning that at school? Are you learning it on, you know, in books and your iPad? Like, what is that? But they have such a personality at that age. Uh, my oldest is four and a half. And like one day she came home and told me about pink dolphins, uh -huh. pink river dolphins. And I was like, okay, sure. But it turns out they're real. <laughs> it's like a whole, and I was like, where did she come? Like, where did this come from? What is one of the biggest misconceptions you had about parenthood before you became a parent? Well, I would say, go back to what I was saying before about, you know, thinking that you know so much more mm -hmm. than you do. I mean, you really know nothing. I remember when I had Frederick and I was in the hospital after I gave birth, like the, the next day, I was overjoyed with like love and I had my baby here um, and my heart was so full. And then I started thinking about the business and thinking about, can I do both? You know, I've done my business so well for 10 years and now I have this new part of my life, this new chapter, and I wanna do it really well. So how can I do both? the best way I know how and how can I do it like perfectly. Once I realized like there is just no such thing as balance because you know there's no 50-50, there's no 100-100, it's, it's just it doesn't exist and once I realized that you know I became so free to just say you know what I can't control this part so I'm gonna let it go. I think there's something to like letting them in, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of boundaries and like whatever I'm doing is what I'm doing in the moment. But I think, you know, especially in the last couple of years, it's sort of like, I'm on a Zoom call and here you are, you know? Right. And I think there's something really cool about that in a way that they can be part of it, especially as an entrepreneur, when you're putting so much of your heart and soul and mind into your business and your kid, you know, it doesn't have to be separate, right? in certain ways. Yeah, and having partners too that really, partners in business, partners in life, like whatever that looks like that really understand that as well, that you are, you know, you are an entrepreneur, you're gonna have Zoom calls, but then your child may be right next to you and they may interrupt your call and because they want, you know, a snack or, um, you know, mommy, can you cut something off of 
something before I cut it myself. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've had that happen. <laughs> oh, definitely. I mean, like our, so my two-year-old is a snack monster. Like she is terrible at eating meals and she is great at eating snacks. And it's like, she comes in and she's like, knack, knack, knack. <laughs> You know, and it's like so urgent. And he loves to draw. I mean, in our last home, I actually allowed him to draw on his on his walls. Like literally, he created canvases on his wall. There was no restrictions. Um, he took step stools. He created a full ocean wall from the bottom all the way up, and that was like his happy space because he loves sea animals so much. Okay, last question because it is it is twelve thirty on the dot. What is the greatest gift or advice another parent has given you? I've just been told, listen, you're not going to know everything every step of the way. You know, put down the books. Like, you're reading all of these books about year one. What is it like year one? And then I would get stressed when these things didn't happen. And, I'm, and, and they're like, put the books down. Enjoy being a mom and being in it. And every child is going to discover differently. You're going to discover differently as, as a mom. And just enjoy that and like be in it. I love that. Well, that is all we have time for. Thank you so much, Sherry, for joining. Everyone be sure to follow at Sherry McMullen and at Shop McMullen. And of course, we'll tag it all in the, in the caption. And tune into Mom Hive here on O-Bubble next week. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.